Hi, Abraham. So I hear what you're saying about starting over. When you're not in a place of satisfaction, you can't solve it from that place. And may we soften that just a little bit by saying starting over sounds like such a hard thing, like going back to the beginning. But starting over energetically gives you leverage that puts you way ahead of where you've ever been. So it's like saying, I'm starting over by tapping in to the leverage that will put me way ahead of where I've ever been. Starting over vibrationally puts you light years ahead of what you've been doing with action. So get this starting over into perspective. It's not like starting over. And that's what we were meaning to say to that man who'd lost all of his money. We want him to start over and cash in his vibrational chips and discover that he's way ahead in terms of prosperity ahead of where he'd ever been in terms of what he'd managed to amass. Just wanted to get that in there. Okay, thank you. I'm having relationship difficulties at the moment and so far in like the conversation today, it's been very much like, so starting over with that relationship in yes. mind. Yes, yeah. And so how do you know when the relationship is no longer serving you? Here is the way we would approach it. So what you've been attempting hasn't really soothed it. It's like that rut that we we're talking about where you feel a little better and then off you go again and you feel better and then worse and better and then worse, better and worse. But that's because you haven't really gone to the starting place. So if you go to that starting place and you know you're detached, you know you are because you've felt it. You felt the numbness, you felt the detachment, you felt the motion of your body. You know that your source is communicating with your cells. You're feeling the ripples in your body. You've got physical symptoms that let you know that. And thoughts are occurring to you and you're feeling satisfaction. And so you're doing that and you're doing that and you're doing that and you're doing that. If nothing changes over here, then let it go. But in almost every case, something changes over here once you make the change over here. Now, sometimes people have come together without really being in touch with who they are. But when you have really fallen in love, you are tuned in, tapped in, turned on. In other words, that's what that feeling of falling in love is. Unless it's just somebody to help pay the rent, and that's a whole other deal. Is it possible to feel that love if you're an ocean away? We're not even only an ocean away. In other words, when you start talking about speeds of energy that are faster than the speed of light, then an ocean away, we can't even demonstrate something brief enough. Okay. But, but I, I'm, I... Just don't be an ocean away from your inner being. Inner being, you're an ocean away. <laughs> no, it's just that negative thought away. That's all it is. Just that one negative thought. But I'm such a present moment person and relationships for me are about two whole people coming together and like lifting yeah. each other higher yeah two becoming whole people something more. two whole people but you got to be one of them <laughs> you can only be in charge of one of them and so if it's one whole person then there's a much better opportunity for the other one to come into alignment but if the whole person is noticing that the other person isn't whole then the whole person isn't whole either so interesting. We've both got to be whole and you're not. Oh. <laughs> so really, it doesn't require two people being whole, just one. Because when you are tuned in, tapped in, turned on, you are persuasive. But then what about the experiencing of the here and now? Like if you can't experience life with the you other know, person. We liked those words that you offered so much. Let's talk about this. This matters a lot because you are really good at being in the now. And everything that we've said all day here today was our wanting you to be so keen at being in the now that you're willing to meditate until you're really in the now, in tune with the whole of you in the now. So that you are tuned in, tapped in, turned on in the now and allowing momentum to ensue. And then in the now, allowing momentum to ensue. In the now, satisfied. In the now, satisfied. In the now, satisfied. Not choosing not to be satisfied because I can't be with someone I want to be with right now. But in the now, choosing satisfaction anyway. Choosing the relationship that matters most in the now. 
which will lead to every single other thing that I want. So when you tell us that you're good at that, we want to say, we say this about a lot of you, just because you're really good at focusing, which is what a lot of people would say being in the now is, really letting whatever the moment is, give it your undivided attention. And we say, oh, that's not the way we would describe being in the now. We would describe being in the now being completely involved and intertwined with my inner being in the now doing whatever I'm doing. Alignment and then. Over time we've said so many things about that. We've said, find the good feeling place and then. And then for a while we said, get into the vortex and then. And then for a while we said, get on the high flying disc and then. And now we're saying, get into the receiving mode and then. And in all of that, what we've been saying is, intertwine with the whole of who you are and then be in the now with the whole of who you are. And when you be who you really are, then you don't feel lonely because your inner being is never focused upon anything that feels like lack or like absence, you see. And then as you focus upon this one you love, even though that person is far, far away, vibrationally not. How often, we know it happens a lot with you, with all of you. It happens to Esther many times every single day. At the same moment she's calling someone, they're calling her. At the same moment she's texting someone, they're texting her. And often they're saying exactly the same thing and then they both write, ha ha, LOL. Because <laughs> there it was. They were so tuned in, tapped in, turned on. There is no distance or space between. When Jerry made his transition into the non-physical for a while, Esther was so sad. And she would say, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? And finally we convinced her, if you will stop looking where he isn't and look where he is, you will feel so much better. And so there is a vibrational basis of this relationship. And the distance doesn't matter can find alignment anyway and then the manifestations continue to come we're not trying to talk you out of those manifestations we want them for you we agree with Esther we want you to want what you want and we want you to be so ready to be ready to be ready that there is often a full manifestation of it but you just can't get there from there you can't get to a satisfied place from a place of lonely any more than you can set your radio dial on 101 FM and hear what's being broadcast on 98. Okay. Enough? Yeah, more? I got some work to do. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Give it to us. The work that I need to do? Yeah. I, I just need to get better in touch with who I am. Um, I don't feel like the one... I like to think that I'm the one that's... Whole, I'm looking but... forward to getting in better touch with who I am. And when I'm yeah. there, I know it. Yeah. And I am miserable when I'm not there because I've been there often and I know what it feels like. And I will not put up with not being there. I'm going to be so present in my now that I'm going to demand of myself alignment first. And if I don't make it, no big deal. Tomorrow's another day, tomorrow's another day, tomorrow's another day. But... I now know more clearly than ever what I want and what to do about it. Mm. We've been telling you for a while, we don't mean it anymore though. <laughs> We've been telling you for a while that we would rather see you in a state of appreciation than in a state of meditation. Because in a state of meditation, you've quieted your mind way down to satisfaction. But in a state of appreciation, there's still no resistance, but you got lots of momentum going. And appreciation is right on the brink of full-blown manifestations. But do not save your appreciation only for manifestations. Appreciate how you feel. Appreciate the love that you feel. Appreciate the memories that you hold. Appreciate the way your body feels. Appreciate your comfort in a moment. You get what we mean. Yeah. Yeah. Really good conversation. Thank Enough? you. Enough? Yes.